All right, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is kind of walk through step-by-step -step how to find, mark, and take down an S10 in DCS with a harm. Uh, it's a little more difficult than it sounds, the S10 or the, the uh, S300, SA10. Uh, it can shoot missiles down that are incoming. So if I just rifle off a harm at this thing from, I don't know, 15, 20 miles, it's not gonna do any good. It's gonna get shot down immediately. All right, got two harms on the aircraft. I uh, got some cluster bombs, targeting pod, and then the harm targeting sensor. All right, so this is just from an air start. Step one, I'm going to bring up my oh, air to ground mode. That'd be helpful. Bring up the harm targeting sensor page. Go ahead and turn on my harms. And I'm going to bring up the targeting pod on this side. So what I'm going to do is um, use the harm targeting sensor to get the targeting pod slewed to the area of the SAM site. Mark the site. Um, and then sneak in at low level and shoot a harm at it from close range so the site doesn't have time to shoot it down. Alright, I'm going to make this soy. See, we have a big bird. That's one of the search radars for the site. Uh, it doesn't have a gray solution on it yet. It says PGM-5. See, so it keeps moving around. PGM-4. PGM-5. PGM-4. That, uh, this indication right here tells you how good of a solution the pod has on the actual location of the radar. So it looks like they're getting, getting closer together. M5. Yeah, it's not so great, but we'll see how it improves. I'm going to TMS up and lock the site here. Go ahead and see if I can start looking around for it. For some reason, Black Hot seems to be good at finding stuff at long range. I'm, I think that's probably just a DCS thing. Oh, there it is. That was easy. All right, so here's my site. All right, next step, I'm gonna make this a steer point, or mark point, so I'm gonna hit mark. Uh, Dauber right, make sure TGP is what's selected. TMS up again. And now you can see that I've generated a uh, steer point for this target. And I have no idea why it hasn't shot at me yet. Set it to average um, in the mission editor. That's just the stock DCS, um, whatever the uh, template was in the mission editor for this site. It will shoot at me. I've done this before, but let's see what happens. All right. So next thing to do is to cycle over here to. All right. Now it's locking me. Weapon page. You can see where. It's not happy. I'm gonna duck down behind this hill. Finish setting up. Alright, that should do it. Okay, real quick. So I brought up the weapon page. Um, I have position mode, equation of motion, and then down here it says CS clamshell because that's what I locked over here on the uh, HTS pod. That's not what I want. So I'm going to make this soy actually and deselect that. All right, now it went back to 10. You can select these manually here. So below the line is what the missile is going to do. That's what you're telling the missile to do pre launch. So right now this is set to launch to steer point one and look for an S10 tracking radar, the flap lid. The tracking radar, it needs that to shoot. It can't shoot without it. Um, the Big Bird and Clamshare are search radars. They feed information to that um, tracking radar. So we want to take the tracking radar out. Uh, so 10 is correct. Steer point 1. We just made steer point 26 with the mark point. So I'm going to set steer point 26. Enter. All right, so now this is all set up how I want. It's going to fly to steer point 26 and look for an S10 tracking radar. Perfect. So it's important to get all this stuff set up ahead of time before you make your run-in. Um, 
so you're not fiddling with anything while you're avoiding in a very nasty and angry SAM site. And also, uh, this is a much better way than popping up and trying to find the site here on your um, HTS pod. It, it may take a while to find and locate that and lock it up, so that's not really a great method for doing something in close. So the best thing to do is to get that missile set up, ready to go, and that way you can just focus on you know, hugging the ground and staying alive until you get close enough. That's my sear point over there. So having the helmet's helpful. You can kind of see where it is and get some situational awareness on like how to put terrain, buildings, etc. between you and the site. So he's not happy with me. So I'm getting close to the minimum range of the missile, which is right here. So as close to minimum range as I can get really is the best. I'm feeling pretty good about it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up. You do want to pop the nose up a little bit before you shoot. Get a little altitude on that so it can uh, kind of dive in on the target. All right, let's see how we did. I'm going to have six for the win here. Oh, it's going. Where are we going? All right, that looks good. Notice that harm booster stayed on the entire time. That's what you want to see. If that if that harm is in booster, it's just accelerating, and it's making it a very difficult shot uh, for that SAM site to take that missile out. 